This is the midterm presentation for Team McNugget. Team McNugget consists of myself, Orlandi, Kemper, and Jonathan. We are working together as a team. We're working well. Everybody has contributed to this project. Uh, we've been working together on this since the beginning of the term. We're excited about our TV show. We're excited about our submission. And we're looking forward to the rest of the term and working together to achieve our goal, which is to have uh, a very effective, uh, entertaining, presentate, final presentation TV show. So we'll get started and talk about our show a little more. And uh, our show follows a foreign exchange student named Samir. It's a story of an interesting exchange student called Samir who is new to the American culture. Samir is a foreign exchange student that has just moved from India to the United States to attend the local university. Throughout classes, Samir starts to notice that he is faced with an entirely new culture. English is not something new to him because in India, he learned English in school. However, the food and the social lifestyle are things that Samir is not accustomed to. Samir is now faced with meeting new people and becoming a part of an entirely different culture. Samir joins a multicultural fraternity that helps him understand American culture better and meet new people as well. As Samir starts to grow as a person in this new environment, he will soon learn that he's going to have to learn important skills to better manage his time between his social life and his academic life. The target market for our show are people in their teens to mid-twenties, but mainly college students. The setting for this show is going to take place mostly at the Tampa campus of USF. The main campus where the foreign exchange students attends classes. There will also be settings in the students' dorm room and the fraternity events that Samir will be attending throughout the series. This will make it easier for the viewer to relate to the show based on our target market. The main concept that we are trying to get across to the viewer is management by showing how Samir will use management concepts to better manage his social life. There's four main characters in our show. Uh, we will be introducing new characters as we, as we do the actual filming, uh, as we need to, to set up and develop storylines further. But right now we're talking about four specific main characters. The first uh, character in the start of the show is Samir. Samir is the main character. He's a young business student who has just transferred from India as a foreign exchange student. Samir is the character who this story is about. As the story goes on, we will follow him in his decision making and observe how he plays a role in the management concepts. Frank is Samir's fraternity brother in a multicultural fraternity. Frank is one of the older brothers in the fraternity, and he plays a huge part in the decision-making that goes on within the fraternity. Taylor is a student at USF where both Frank and Samir go to school. She is first a friend of Samir's and helps him transition into American culture. Later in the story, she will begin to like Samir and cause him to have to use strategic management decisions to deal with his time wisely when it comes to his fraternity in business classes. Martin is an alumni member of the USF College of Business and a brother of the same fraternity as Frank and Samir. Martin owns his own business in downtown Tampa, and this is where Samir can put his management skills to the test in the real world. Uh, the overall story is about Samir and how he manages his school and social life through the management concepts from our textbook. Each episode expresses different concepts. However, how the characters relate to the situation and concepts at hand is generally all the same. Samir is the main character, and he is the one that encounters the problems at hand that require the use of these management concepts. Taylor is the character that puts Samir in the tough situations and sends him into the decision-making processes. Frank and Martin represent Samir's main focus as they offer a potential future career for Samir. These real-life situations and school issues cause Samir to use strategic planning and implement implementation of plans for his life decisions. These school and social life con conflictions between Frank and Taylor are where we can see Samir put these management concepts to work. 
our first episode when we are deciding between animation or perhaps another, you know, real life um, filming uh, for our final, you know, for our actual episodes. But right now we've worked them up on a storyboard, but we're probably going to go with an animation. Um, we're trying to figure out what our best avenue is going forward to do the actual filming to get with, to set us up for success. Right now, I would say we're going to do an animation of the episodes. But a episode one is going to focus on Samir, and uh, the management concept is the bounded rationality model of decision making. And in it, uh, Samir bumps into Frank uh, in Tampa on the street on campus, and they have a night. And uh, Frank wanted to remind Samir of an event coming up for the to benefit the fraternity that Samir said he would attend. And uh, they chat, and of course the conversa conversation, Samir tells Frank that he will be there, and it's this Saturday night. After they say their goodbyes, not, not uh, too long after that, Taylor calls Samir, and... Um, sounds really excited and it turns out she has won concert tickets and she's been trying to win them for quite some time to do something nice for Samir and she doesn't have the money on a student's budget to buy them outright so she was trying to win tickets to a particular show and she did it and Samir is really excited and uh, he, he tells Taylor that of course he would go to her you know with her to the concert and uh, it turns out that this concert is the same night as the uh, fraternity event they already committed to with Frank. And so that's where we're going to bring in the conflict. And uh, how he decides to resolve that is the basis for the first episode. Episode two, uh, we get into organizational structure and strategic planning. And... Uh, but it really, you start to see what's going on in Samir's life. He's uh, an excellent student, but things socially start to take for Samir, and he gets more and more involved with friends and the fraternity, and uh, it it seems like it could start to take away from his success in school. He's uh, doing more things socially. He's out. He's meeting his fraternity brothers. And uh, he's spending more time with Taylor at the clubs, and uh, he's a brilliant enjoy himself and a new friend. He's hitting the books less, so he needs to look at his own personal organizational structure and implement a plan to better manage his time for success, both in school and um you know, socially with his friends. And then in episode three, we get into a uh, situation where he, the management concept is a competitive advantage. And um, Samir and Taylor are having a nice talk, and Taylor talks Samir into applying for a coveted internship role at one of Martin's businesses. So uh, he, he goes in, to, uh, it's arranged through Frank, and Martin and Frank are good friends and, and fraternity brothers, and Frank puts the good word in for Samir, and they go in and have a nice uh, interview together and it turns out that uh, he has landed the internship and the, the detail will detail in the episode further exactly how he put his competitive advantage to work to land that internship and that is the basis for that episode four uh, revolves around the management concept of implementing a plan. 
And, uh, again, it talks about how he has been busy with school and his uh, fraternity commitments and his blossoming social life. So this really talks about what kind of plan he's going to sit down, look at what is really important, come up with a plan to balance, have a, a greater balance in life um, with the goal and the, and the uh, idea that school comes first. That's going to ultimately uh, lead him to the most success. And so it, that's, that's what this episode talks about, trying to find that balance between a social life and also taking care of what you know, your major responsibilities are, work and school. So uh, then we get into episode five, which is the management marketing strategies. And um, this talks about Samir has been doing really well with his internship. Martin reaches out to Samir and uh, is so impressed that he's put him in charge of a new project and he wants him to assemble a team. Uh, to work on to work on this project, uh, and that's what this episode talks about. Um, Samir, his, his uh, drive, his talent is starting to show, and the end. Um, he assembles a team, and he he's able to get the project done to Martin's satisfaction, setting him up for su- future success by using the tools and the abilities uh, he's gotten through um, attending the USF School of Business. That is our um, storyline that for our TV show. It is, uh, the name of the show is It's Always Sunny at USF. It follows Samir, and um, it talks about how we in the different management concepts to everyday life for Samir on campus. And it should be um, entertaining. It should be relevant. We're excited about it. We're working hard as a team. We're communicating. Um, we are working ahead so that um, you know we don't get ourselves in, in a tough situation. And you know, have a problem down the line if we take something down to the wire we're we're working as a team to avoid that um, we're excited about the rest of the course we're excited about our project and thank you for your time thank you for listening